Hi guys, my name is Marco and welcome to EV Nerds. This is our Wall IM10 electric scooter. This scooter has so much power that it's uh, practically impossible to comprehend that in my head. With 1000 watt uh, hub motors, uh, it's uh, about the size of uh, VSET 9, but this one is much more powerful. Uh, we did the speed test and speed run, so the scooter was able to get us to um, uh, 60 km per hour easy and you will see the acceleration I don't know if you can see this but it's very very windy and I'll try to do one motor speed test I have a little bit of back wind So let's continue with the review. I'll start from the beginning. The specs. So these are 1000 watt motors. These dual drive motors feature 1600 peaks. So altogether is 3200. And in a 48 volt system, this one performs like a 52 or 60 volt system. So for me, that's pretty incredible. This is because the Arwala N10 has mini motor controllers and i3 display. Thumbs up for using the best parts on the market. It's a dual suspension C type scooter. Uh, these are shocks which are enclosed in uh, plastic. They are less bouncy than Reset 9, but of course, they are not perfect as hydraulic shocks. Uh, still, at this field and on the street, with my 100 kilograms and 5 kilograms of backpack, it performed perfectly and I cannot complain. Maybe people with 120, this will be too soft for them. These, these shocks are one of the first things you can mod or upgrade if you want. However, for me, they are perfect. I wouldn't do any kind of upgrade. These are 12 uh, 10 inch tires, the wires. So the wiring harness is clean, as you see, saw. The handlebar features, uh, first, you need to power it up. Of course, I didn't show you. We have the NFC card. Okay. So the NFC card is for locking and unlocking. The scooter looks so good that uh, the crooks are going to try to take it from you. That's, that's for sure. So being a flagship as it is, it has this LED lights. Um, so the mud guards are wide at this place. So most of the dirt will not come at you. The front light is bright. Uh, it's better than some of the stock lights, but still uh, the beam could be a little bit uh, brighter. So I can uh, suggest to you to use a second lamp. However, the placing of the lamp is perfect. The handlebar is wide. It's around 63 centimeters. I did not measure it. From the ground up, it's very, very high scooter. Uh, it feels like a very large scooter when you ride it but it's a smaller scooter when you need to pack it. Uh, so that's why I'm saying that this one is going to be interesting for those who travel a lot. Uh, 
But I must tell you about a power. It's a very, it's a power hungry scooter. It eats your battery alive. So my suggestion is to use uh, the highest capacity battery. This one is battery very fast. It's very power hungry. I've done uh, 30 kilometers in the third mode with dual motor option on and with the turbo on. Eco gives you 25 km per hour, Turbo gives you what it can give, give and then you have a single and dual option. So all the time I've been using dual options and speed to the maximum. And as I said, I got 30 km out of 18.2 amp hour battery. So as I said, when you buy it, use the highest capacity one because you will want to have more fun on this scooter. Uh, the lowest uh, capacity one is probably for those that have small commutes do not use it as a regular job-to-job uh, -job, or that do not turn the those who do not turn the speed in the third mode they can they can use it so also you have this clamp here uh, the clamp is like idiot proof it has uh, this pin lock and not only the pin lock it has the security shaft as you can see then the hook on the handlebar attaches to the end of the scooter and then you can carry it so it's not heavy the brakes are mechanical brakes but with the EABS turned on I hardly even use them I love the EABS from these mini motor controllers it's uh, very interesting how uh, they end up uh, braking and then just the very end you use the mechanical brakes However, because the scooter is awesome and Arwala knows it, they will be uh, offering a hydraulic uh, brake system as well. There will be a second video of this one after 500 kilometers, so I can tell you how it rides, uh, did I have any problems and so on. The inside is very clean, I don't know, if I, if I find some pictures I will show it to you because I had to put the battery inside. And uh, everything uh, looks very sturdy, which is really important for me and it has a one charging port so the things that I would possibly change is the charging port I would not put it here I would put it here and uh, also the when you compress 100% uh, the scooter you can hear uh, uh, you can hear this one like touching touching the mudguard and then the mud guard is uh, pulling, pushing the tire. <laughs> I think they changed this, but I can confirm it later. Thank you. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. Come check out the second review. Uh, I hope then I will make more sense than I do today.